This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. Hi, this is Ben from Heart Internet, and welcome to the tutorial on how to take your existing website's look and feel and apply it to your host bay installation using the header and footer template files. Now for this demonstration, I've created a very basic design which will act as an existing website to which I want to provide a new web hosting service using HostPay. Now as you can see here, I've done a bit of forward planning and incorporated a web hosting link. So this is ready for when HostPay is installed. Now firstly, before we can start anything, we need to install or reinstall HostPay into a subdirectory. Now to do this, you have to log into customer, like so. Go across to the reinstall host pay icon, which is in the reseller control center. Click that. And then we'll need to install it into a subdirectory. In this demonstration, I'm going to install it to web hosting, like so. Then click install host pay. There we go, a confirmation message saying that host pay has been successfully installed on the account. Now, if we head back to our existing website, and click the web hosting link. Now, it's worth noting that before this demonstration, I actually made this link link to forward slash web hosting. It doesn't magically add the link in there for you, just in case you're wondering why it suddenly works. There we are. Yes, HostPay has been successfully installed. Now, in this demonstration, I don't want to use this template. I'd like to go and choose a more custom, more premium, more developed website template. Now, to do this, go back to your customer control panel, Click on the host pay link. Go down to the customized end user CP. This will give you a range of templates to choose from. These are all pre-configured and ready to go. Now in this demonstration, I'm gonna pick the premium blue set. So I select the theme, generate sample pages and save changes. This new template should now be applied to my host page installation folder. If I refresh the page, there we go. That's much better. Okay, now we can start getting our hands dirty with some code and start the process of actually implementing your existing design into this new host page installation. Now the first step is to download the header and footer files so we can edit them locally. Open up your FTP program go into the newly created web hosting folder and the templates are located within the templates folder. There's the footer and the header to our HTML files. Now download these locally and then we're ready to start editing. Now if I open up my HTML editor, you'll notice I have my header to our HTML file open, my footer to our HTML file open and also the index.html of my existing website. Now header and footer files basically act as the wrapper around all of your main content. The header normally would consist of your title and metadata, your style sheet properties, logo, navigation, and also finish with the main opening content area div. Now the footer would consist of the closing main area div, just there. It also normally consists of your footer or copyright information and also various other closing tags. Now, before I go over and transfer this code across, I want to pop open the header to our HTML and just make you aware of a couple of tags that actually do need to be kept intact when copying over your code. Firstly, we're going to make sure we include the JavaScript and CSS references just there, just below the title. So copy those and paste them into your existing website code just above the existing style sheet reference there. Now if I pop back to header to rhtml, the second block of code I would like to talk about is at the bottom of the header, just here. Now this is a conditional statement and can be interpreted as if you're on the host page index page, e.g. forward slash web hosting, don't show this div with the ID content. Now if we pop back to the index, I'll explain in a bit more detail why this conditional statement is necessary for this particular template. Now, as I mentioned previously, the header and footer files are used on all dynamic pages within HostPay, which works great, but sometimes it won't work if your index content area works differently. Now, in this template, the CSS styling for the div ID content gives 20 pixels of padding, so everything sits nicely away from the edges. 
Now, this would be a problem in this template because as you can see, the large welcome box at the top is flush with the edges, so an extra 20 pixels padding each side would certainly break the design. Now all the code for the home page can be found in the folder templates forward slash index.rhtml where you can manually add div ID content if you need to. And this is exactly what has been done here. You'll see it's 20 pixels away from the edges. Okay, so if we pop back to our HTML editor, what we'll do now is we'll actually start copying across the code for the header into the header to our HTML file itself. So copy all the way down to the divide content and paste that just above that conditional statement we just talked about, like so. Now it's worth noting that if your template didn't actually have the div ID content conditional there, you want to copy everything including the div ID content into the uh, header.rhtml file itself. And once that's done, go back to your index.html content and copy everything from the closing div of div ID content and paste into the footer.rhtml file, like so. Now before uploading these changes, um, you need to make sure your paths from your original website code have been changed to make sure your styles or JavaScript, for example, will be linked to correctly, no matter what directory you're in. Now I would tend to make this an absolute path and just add a forward slash at the start, like so. And do the same for any images you may have as well within the code, like that. Save that and we can upload your changes. Head over to your FTP client and upload your new files. Overwrite any existing changes. Head over to your website. And if we click refresh, we should see your changes should take effect. Fantastic, your style has been applied to the host page installation. We'll scroll down a bit. You can see the footers there. You can click on the home tab. Your website looks still as it should. And of course the styling has also been applied to the host page installation. Now sometimes you may get conflicting styles with the host page template, but these can be ironed out using Firebug, which is an excellent and free CSS slash code debugging tool. Now this was covered in the three part video series on how to customize your host page template. Now this concludes the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Many thanks.